search and hold until we find out what the hell is going on and who the hell is behind it. Hmm. Huh. The shop's been ransacked. But only the skin-tight jeans and hairspray's been taken. Why? We just need to survive. I just want to go home. I can't handle this. I can't. Shush now. Breathe deeply. I know. Take this. An iPod? What good is that? Oh, hush. This is what you need. In fact, I think you should listen to my new single. It's about a strong, independent woman overcoming adversity, much like I am. And much like you will, if you take this message on board. Oh, OK. I guess a minute or two will help keep my mind off things. Music is a gift. It can help you through the good times and the bad. And it's just what you need to help you through this. I remember once, holed up in a basement, formulating a plan to battle the invading aliens of Omicron, Percy I-7. Trembling, cold, already beaten once by their crack commandos, I didn't have a clue what to do. And then in the corner, there was an old radio. I switched it on and tuned in the barometer to all things important. Radio 1. Floating over the airwaves was a sound I sent a shiver of pleasure down my spine. The haunting, beautiful voice of Mel B, the fastest of the Spice Girls, drifted out of the speaker telling me what she really, really wanted. I listened, entranced by the stunning harmonies and positive message. Don't try and sing along, dear, you haven't the voice for it. Anyway, I was sat there, wrapped up in Mel C's beautiful voice, when it dawned on me, song had a line. If you want my future, forget my past. I repeated it over and over again in my mind. It was then that I had the eureka moment which my plan to defeat the invaders and save the world. It involved creating a machine that could lock on to the specific brainwave patterns of the aliens, controlling their memories and the Christ! I think I know what song it is. <laughs> oh no, I've definitely killed her. And what's worse, I think I know what song is causing all this. To create this kind of horrific hypnotism, there's one mixer suitable. The Cacophona Satanicus 666 Deluxe Edition. There's only two men in the world that own one and Sting doesn't have the resources to pull off something like this. That leaves only one man, my friend. Mentor and former lover, Stephen Carbell. This is going to be the hardest thing I've ever done. Fighting my way through these brain dead scum is going to require cunning, smarts, and a whole load of weapons. It's going to be one hell of a spectacle. Ready? Stephen Swine. Ah, oh, Dabby! I'm impressed, but not surprised that you're here. How could you, Stephen? This madness has to stop. Ah, oh, Dab. This is what you wanted. This is what we planned. Not like this, Stephen. Not like this. How could you destroy all those people? Because I'm rich. I had to. I've got millions of pounds. I've got the fastest cars. I've got all the bitches. I've got fame. I've got success. I've got happiness. What else is there left for me to do but achieve power? You're insane. I'll put an end to this madness. Oh, Dabby, you poor naive fool. You think I'll have such a diabolical plan without a backup? I have already recorded my next three singles. Why don't you have a listen? Hentman, 
Grab her! No! 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 Now, my dear, you will experience the true power of pop music. This is awful. What? I said this is awful. What? Why? No! 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 I think I can explain that. <gasps> Ad! Thank God you're okay! Thank Einstein indeed. I managed to counteract the zombification using soul transference techniques I picked up off some Tibetan monks a few years back. Tell me, Dabby, did you do anything interesting on the day of your recording? Anything that might have affected your voice? What? Oh, wait. Yes, I, I had a really sore throat, so I tried to make something to soothe it. It was a horrible concoction. I can't even remember what was in it. That makes sense. The properties of the drink, when coupled with bacteria in your throat, caused your voice to emit a frequency which, when coupled with the powers of Carcophonus Antonicus, caused hypnotising effects. The mixer alone is useless, and Dabby's voice without that drink, which can never be recreated by the way, was powerless. You're nothing without Dabby's voice, Stephen. And with you, Dabby, we could rule the world, imagine the possibilities! No war, no hate, no poverty, it will be a utopia we'll live in. No war? No murder? Don't even consider this, Dabby. You know it's wrong. I... I don't know what to do! There will be harmonious living across the world because we will be telling them what to be doing. Dabby, don't you want to be telling them what to do? Don't you want to be famous? I swear the Z-Factor, you entered it for a reason. I mean, and here you are, confronting me. You should be supporting me, Dabby. You want to make a world a better place? Come, Dabby. Take your rightfully deserved place at the forefront of mankind. Imagine, just imagine, every gig played, every single released, will be helping mankind. Just imagine, Dabby, you can make the world a better place, together with me. The world will be mine! I think I know what to do.